Microjig, maker of the gripper. Work safer, work smarter. I wanted to design an artsy looking vase and I thought it would be cool to design one that looked like it had open flower petals at the top. I'm not sure if I actually achieved that goal with this design because it looks more like an open box uh, than flower petals, but nevertheless, I pressed on. I should be able to get all of the pieces for this vase from this one strip of cherry. And because everything is coming from the same board, all of the grain should match nicely, in theory. Before going to the planer with these boards, I'm gonna remove some of the meat at the bandsaw. Now that I have all of the sides cut to length and both edges are cut square, I can cut the petals off at 22 and a half degrees. Now I need to reverse the angle of the miter on the petals so that the petals will flare to the outside. And that again will be another 22 and a half degrees, but in the opposite direction. And the gripper is gonna come in really handy for this cut. I tilted my router table fence to 22 and a half degrees and I'm gonna use an eighth inch diameter spiral bit to make a groove in both the end grain of this side piece and the end grain of the pedal section so that I can make a spline to join these two pieces together. Because wood isn't very good at holding water, and unless it's a canoe, I bought a glass insert to go inside my wooden vase, and that'll prevent the water from dripping out of the bottom. And I actually bought the glass piece before I designed my wooden vase so I knew how big to make it. I now have the prettiest wood shop in all the land.
I've really enjoyed giving away my SketchUp designs to my projects, which I've been doing for several years. I still enjoy giving them away, but in order to get the newest SketchUp designs, you'll need to become a Patreon member of Garage Woodworks, and more specifically, a Garage King level patron. This new level will do two things. It will encourage me to continue to make good SketchUp designs, and it will lead to support for my show. Last week's design, the Shoji Lamp, now has a SketchUp model on my website that you could download when you become a Garage King level patron. I also have other levels of contribution that come with other benefits if you'd prefer only those. You'll find my Patreon link in the first comment below and also in the video description. And lastly, I would like to sincerely thank those of you that are already patrons. I'll see you guys next week.